I'm literally going to college for biology. And I have a feeling that no amount of schooling is ever going to explain this phenomenon that is Replicus' body. Hello everybody, Kelsey the Powerfly here, and today we are back on Assassin of Steve. And as you can see behind me, there's a giant robot slash alien slash whatever this thing is that wants to destroy the world. I'm pretty sure this is Replicus in his true form. And I thought I had him last time because, you know, I kind of punched him to smithereens. But no, here he is in, in giant form here. And apparently, our only hope now to save the entire world and possibly the universe is to destroy that there purple orb behind me. And knowing Assassin of Steve, this is going to be painful and generally horrible and not my favorite thing at all, but it needs to be done. So, uh, somehow I gotta get up to that orb and don't ask me how I'm gonna go about that because I don't have a freaking clue. Because there's some weird purple glass here for reasons that I don't really understand. And there's a bunch of dudes, so I think the safe way to go about this is going to be to bow down as many of these suckers as humanly possible and then proceed from there. So I will spare you the boring moments and get back to you once everything is dead. Ouchie, I'm on fire. I don't like being on fire. St I don't like this. This is bad. Very bad. Oh, nosies, guys. The wither has found me. This is... This is, uh, not good. This is multiple levels of not good. Uh, but silver lining? In all other instances, killing this replicant Yueva, aka the Wither, has advanced the storyline, so... It probably has to be done at some point. Why not now, right? I mean, it's as good a time as any to kill the Wither. I mean, this is like, what, the fifth one I've killed in this level alone? And, oh, great, he's he spawned little, little Wither minions. Just... Just what I needed. Oh my, just, wow. Couldn't be better. Life could not be better than this. And I'm dying a horrible and painful death. It's my favorite part of the whole map, guys, is the part where I die a horrible, painful death. Okay, critical war axe, and just a few sword hits. Not, yeah, I'm hitting it with the beacon. As I'm sure you know, that's extremely effective. I might die here, but I'd really, really like to take the stupid wither down with me. It just so you know, if I if I am not that coordinated, that's because I'm it I'm not. I'm really not coordinated at all, and I feel like this is just complete and utter chaos. But apparently uh, I did in fact need to do that, and King Parkour is just What the heck? Why am I in spectator mode? Okay, I'm going to place down the blocks so that you could climb up to the orb. What's happening? Uh that is an excellent question. What is happening? Don't think you can defeat me so easily. Enjoy the view. Ah! Wait, something happened to Pink King Parkour. King Parkour, no! I'm really not sure what happened to you. I think I'm supposed to be in, like, a cutscene. But I can move around for some weird reason, so I don't know what's going on. We haven't lost all hope. Try grappling up Replicus' legs. Okay. Raina's whispering. My magic can help you destroy the orb. All you need to do is get up there. Alright, so... Getting up there... That is the plan du jour. I'm really not sure why I'm in spectator. I have a feeling I shouldn't be, so we'll just... Uh, swap back into game mode 2 there. But before I even try this, I need to finish bowing down all of these dudes. So, I'll get back to you about two hours. See you then. Alright, this is getting exceedingly boring. So, I think I've softened him up a bit, so I, I think I'm going to try to take some of them out with the sword, because I feel like it's a lot quicker that way. And I have lots of retreating room, so I think this should be a relatively safe proposition. Although these guys do hit like a truck, like everything in Assassin of Steve. Absolute truck. So, so I can take as many tactical retreats as I need, there's just a few dudes left, and it should only take like two or three hits to get them down now that I have um, now that I've bowed them down quite a bit although this guy seems to be uh, slightly beefier so I probably didn't soften him up quite as much as I was hoping and of course 
it's never a bad time for a steak break. All right, so how many more of these suckers are there? King Parkour's placed its blocks. I see the blocks. And I see about two more guys who are soon to be no more. Okay, well, maybe there's three, because I didn't realize that was two guys. I thought that was just one guy, but it was like two guys standing on the exact same block, I believe. All right, so let's get rid of you. I said we'll get rid of you. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Very much appreciated. And I believe you are the lone survivor of this little resistance. No, I'm the resistance of the invasion. Whatever, whatever this is, you're the last of its kind. All right. So I have to grapple up his legs or go up King Parkour's blocks. But I think King Parkour got abducted before he could place all the blocks. So I must have to use the grappling gun. It's my only hope. All I have to do is get up to the orb, and then I think Reyna will be able to do the rest. But I should probably keep that on the down low, because if Replicus knows what Reyna's planning, he might, uh, do something unfortunate. So, as this stays between you and me. Capiche? Alright, grappling spot is right here. Grappling hook is right there. And there's another one up here somewhere, I think, maybe? Let's see, where is it? Oh, right there, I think. All right, perfect. And there's got to be another one somewhere, I hope. Oh, I see it. It's over on this side. I got your number, grappling hook. All right. Now I'm climbing inside his rib cage. Weird. A little bit gross, but cool. Uh, okay, I suppose maybe that means he's not an alien. Uh, unfortunately, his his chest cavity seems to be infested with something. With the uh, little alien invaders of some variety, which you'd think would be really unhealthy for him, but it, it seems to be a mutualistic relationship. He harbors them within his body, and they rain down fire and death upon his enemies. So, I, I guess that's, that's a thing. Okay, and there is no wither. There is no uh, replicant Yueva or whatever. So I think all we have to do is kill these guys and then mosey on through this guy's body because that's totally normal. That's a normal thing to do. Completely normal, though come to think of it, why does Replicas have a giant gaping hole in his body that people can just walk into? It seems... Well, it doesn't really seem biologically sound. I, I question... Biology, I guess. I don't know. It just seems like a bad idea. I mean, typically... Bodies aren't supposed to have giant gaping holes. Uh, I saw movement! Shoot everything that moves, Kelsey! That's the strategy. I know you can do it. Okay, I think I saw it poof. Is that everybody? Are they all gone? I believe so. Alrighty then. I'm guessing I don't want to go down here. I can't really tell if that's floor or giant gaping hole, but I'm going to err on the side of caution and assume that it's a giant gaping hole that I don't want to fall in. So I guess I need to go up. Oh. Were those there before? I really don't remember them. Uh, you think I'd, I like, you think I'd remember the, the whatever those are? I thought I killed them all, but apparently, uh, no. Apparently, they just keep on coming. I swear, I just saw this. I thought there was one dude, and I, I think I just saw it perform mitosis or something. I, it's, it's a little, a little weird. I, I don't know what to say. I really. I am lost for words at whatever this is. I mean, I'm I'm literally going to college for biology, and I have a feeling that no amount of schooling is ever going to explain this phenomenon that is Replicus' body. I, that's, that's just a, a lingering, stinking suspicion that I have, you know? Right, so the question, the real question is, can I climb the rib cage? And it looks like, it looks like I can once I deal with some people yeah it's what you get for messing up my parkour and I, I really don't want to try to parkour 
with Wither Tick, so... You deserved to die. That's just my flaming arrow. Just good, as long as it's not somebody shooting at me. Oh my gosh, just stupid, stupid. No, something is shooting me. I have another 30 seconds of Wither. Oh joy. Just best day of my life. And if you didn't get the sarcasm, you're clearly sarcasm impaired, yet you probably get that checked out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, this is going about as well as parkour usually does, but we have discovered that at least that part of the gaping hole isn't actually that giant and gaping, which is good, so I, you know, at least I didn't fall to my death in there, like I thought I probably would. Oh, Wither, I hate you so much. Okay, finally, we are no longer Withered. Let's see if we can keep it that way. I mean, I'm not particularly convinced that that will improve my parkour that will improve my parkour performance or my speaking performance. But it sure is nice, you know? It's really nice to not be withered and on fire and in horrible pain all of the time. All right. Seriously, do these guys just keep spawning? Because I seriously, I always think I've got the best of them and they're just dead and they're finished and they're donezo. And then something shoots me in the face once again. And then I walk off a block, you know, per the usual. All right, we're getting pretty close. And there's a dude there who's aiming to shoot me all the way back to the bottom, which is not going to happen. We aren't playing that game, punk, buddy, bucko. That is not what's going down today. So you know what? I just got to figure out how do I want to go about this? Unfortunately, to get a good aim at him, I'm worried I'm going to put myself in jeopardy. Okay, there we go. I think I can maybe hit him from up here. I think I hit him, actually. I see him on fire. I'm just going to keep shooting blindly and hope that he dies. Because strategy. Okay, there's two of them. Even better. Just excellent. Wonderful, beautiful, and I hate you all. And they are hitting me, so I just want to be sure that I, if I'm going to get hit, I don't want to get hit all the way off of this structure. Alright, let's ow, 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 fire. Ouchie. If I jump back down here, how painful would it be to get back up? Okay, I think this might be a better spot. I think I can aim a little bit better from here. And it shouldn't, that's, it's not very hard to climb back up. Where'd you guys go? You scared? Because you probably should be. You should be quaking in your boots that you don't have. Wow, that, that might actually be kind of, is that, is that insensitive? to say to somebody who doesn't have legs. And I mean, in, in real life, yeah, probably. But for these guys, eh, they probably deserve it. They probably deserve it. Time to get back up where I meant to be this entire time, which I believe was right here. And then I believe it was right uh, this away. And are we good? Are we good to go? I think we are. There's a guy over here who doesn't see me, and it'll be the last mistake he ever makes. Yeah, that's right. Just just keep looking the other way. It'll be the last thing you ever see, bucko. Oh, wow. <laughs> if you're wondering why that shot was so off, it's because I got the, the little arrow tails confused with my crosshair for some reason. Don't ask how that happens. It just does. Okay, I'm having... This guy is pretty far away. I'm not sure I can actually hit him from here. But he's way too far away to cause trouble, I think, so we should be good. Alright. Okay, you're still here. You are still here. Just hiding in the corner. Of course. Okay, one down, and I know there's still one lurking up here somewhere. Like the jerk he is. But, I think we are good to go for now. So the question is, where... Do we go from here? Oh no, please. Please spare me. Don't tell me I have to make that jump. Because that looks completely horrible. That's a corner jump, people. And I hate those. I really, really despise them with every fiber of my being. Okay, now wait. I don't 
don't have to try to jump over to here. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get on this and then make a beeline for the orb. Is this his arm or something? I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I don't care if it's like a weird belly button tentacle or something. It's, it's a way for me to get to the orb. So, okay. On the orb, check. Let's get to the orb. Listen, do you think I have to press them all? Okay, let's see. Is it gonna blow up? Oh, it's blowing up! Yes! Boom, baby! What? How can this be? Um, <laughs> you got owned! You got owned, son! Without the orb, Replicus should be vulnerable. But he will still be difficult to take down. Aw, oh, man, I was seriously hoping he would just die instantly upon the explosion of his orb. Ugh, it's never that easy, is it? You will not defeat me! Okay. Except that I will, so... <laughs> Take that. <laughs> okay. No idea how to defeat him, but... I'm gonna go ahead and assume it involves killing the Withers, because that is usually helpful. Oh my gosh, are you... Are you shooting fireballs? Are you, are you like, firebombing me with fireballs? Just dropping them on my head, like... Like, uh, like rain? Is that, is that what's going down right now? Because <laughs> I don't appreciate it. Okay, so here's the Withers. I think my best bet is probably going to be to run in and kill them. Although maybe this would be a good time to use my final beacon. It's hard to tell, though. You would really think this would be the final boss fight. But this map will deceive you time and again. This, I mean, this is a final boss level. So there's probably, like, a minimum of three boss fights. At least. Like, probably more like 80,000. Knowing Assassin Steve, there's probably, like, five hours later, we'll be on, like, our eighth boss fight, and and it will, there still won't even be any hope of this ever being completed. So I, I, I think what I have to do, it doesn't matter how many times I die, I think I just have to get those withers down. And I'm considering using some potions or some beacons. Okay, so, wait, they are down, so I can't shoot them. All I have to do, then, is just take a sword to their ugly faces, like so. Okay, that one... Oh, one of them already died, or I just got out of range. I'm not really sure which. Okay, that one's down. You've brought down both of the Uevas. Quickly, before he gets the power to summon more, shoot both arms. Oh. Blown up. Excellent, excellent. Okay, shoot both arms. What part of the arms am I shooting at? I... Well, I guess it can, like, detect arrows, so maybe, maybe there's not, like, a button I have to hit. I just have to hit, hit the arms. Okay. I'm attempting it. I'm trying really hard here. If it's anything like the ships, I have to hit them multiple times. Ouchie. I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore that. I am gonna pretend that did not happen. I'm gonna pretend you did not just shoot a fireball at my face, because otherwise we're gonna have issues. Big beefy issues. Okay, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Goodbye, cruel world. Ugh. Okay, how many times do I have to shoot this guy? I mean, let's. Seriously, like, tell me, tell me, give me a number so that I know I'm making progress. I, this is so far away, too. I gotta, I gotta aim at a really steep incline for this to work, man. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ignore you. I'm ignoring you. Okay, you know what? This has got to be the final boss fight. It's, it's beacon time. I'm gonna go back to that, that nice spot and I'm gonna throw this puppy down and then, uh, it sucks to be you guys because I can kill you and you can't touch me. So, so uh, prepare to get owned. Beacon, beacon, where are you? I need you. Apparently, it's not working yet. Where's my beacon? Seriously, where, where's where's the beacon? Where'd the beacon go? I'm not supposed to be able to die with the beacon. Where's my beautiful beacon? All right, please tell me that it has finally appeared because I need that thing. I need it so bad. What if they've disabled beacons on the final boss fight? That would just be the most atrociously horrible, awful thing that could possibly ever happen. Ever. Beacon, I threw you down. Why Why you no know beaconing? All right, I guess um, plan B is to go back to plan A and just keep shooting this guy and hope that something happens eventually, maybe sometime. All right, so I just took a quick gander in creative mode to make sure that I wasn't missing any buttons or something on the arms, and I noticed that 
Raina said shooting each arm eight times should do the trick. So I guess that's what we're doing. Eight times. We have a number. The trick is to actually hit the arms because you are going to need quite the angle to make this happen. Okay, I think I've hit him four times at least. Okay, come on, please. Please. Is that five? Please be five. Please be six. Please be seven. Please be eight. Come on, I've hit you so many times. Please, just... Can your arm just, like, fall off or something? I'm getting... I'm getting tired of this. Why, why are you no working? I've shot you so many times. Dang it. These creepers are really getting on my nerves. And I'm not sure if I can kill them. I have this lingering suspicion that if I... That if I try to kill all the mobs, it's not going to work. Because I feel like they're just going to respawn. I really suspect that they are, they are not probably going to... So, I mean, that would be really nice if I could just clear this place out. But I just I, I kind of suspect that it's not actually possible. So that would just be way too simple, wouldn't it? You know what would be really great right now? An invincibility beacon! Cough, cough! Where are you when I need your face? Alright, I hit this arm like a hundred times, so I'm literally going to go in creative mode and test this. I'm going to get eight unharassed shots on this arm and see if this actually works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Worked that time, okay. Ah oh, no! I write with my left hand, you jerk! Okay, so apparently that does work. So what I don't understand is why that did not work before. Because I did actually check in creative mode. I flew up there and he had like probably 15 arrows in his arm and it didn't work for some reason. So I don't know what went wrong, but I'm going to try to do this one legitly. I am. I just... I, I just... Uh, I don't know what went wrong the first time, so... Couldn't tell you. Oh my goodness. I, I'm so sick and tired of dying. I'm so sick and tired of my beacon not existing. Like that, that just makes me really sad. It's just really tragic, you know? Oh boy. I am going to get blown up into smithereens. Okay, I hit his hand. Let's see if this will work. Two shots landed. Three shots landed. Four. I'm just trying to shoot at the fireballs coming at my face. Get rid of those. Alright, that's dealt with. Seven. Eight. Okay. Ah! Oh, my right arm! Are we done now? Enough! Uh, what are you gonna do? You have no arms. This is a little thing I like to call telekinesis. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh, I bet I, I have a light drive. I don't have to be afraid of heights. Oh, never mind. I don't think it works. I'm still in uh, this mode. Are you just like banging my head into the walls now? Dude, you do realize that I've already endured as much pain as you can possibly dish out. Opara? Opara, is that you? I thought you were dead! I thought you had to, like, sacrifice yourself to save us or something! But now that you're here, can you please just go give this guy an ultimate beatdown for me? I know. Mighty inconvenient, isn't it? What, being dead? That's just an inconvenience to you? Reynas armed you with a spell that will destroy Replicus once and for all, now that he has been weakened. She just needs you to use it. Will do. I can toss you up, just like how I got you onto the blue end ship. Then fly and hit one of Replicus' eyes. Oh, you got it, buddy. I've been wanting to do that all day. But seriously, I'm still a bit confused as to how you got here. But if what you're saying is true, let's do it. Throw me, Opara. Boom. I think I bet I have to do this. All right. Hit the eyes, hit the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. Okay, I gotta get down here. Probably. Do you have button eyes me? Ow! Okay, uh, take two. Opara, buddy, buddy, where, where? Oh, don't, are you, are you trying to? 
not really sure. Like, do I just have to hit it with a bow? Like, what am, what am I doing here? I guess I can do this. I do this. I'm shooting your eyeball, Replicas. Do you reckon I have to kill the Wither first? I'm kind of having that lingering suspicion that maybe that is what needs to happen. Maybe I just have to punch him in the eye? There's no buttons. So, what gives? What, what am I supposed to do? I fail to see the strategy here. Because, I mean, I've already hit him in the eyeballs like five billion times. I mean, we can keep doing this all day. All day, every day. I got no problem with that, but... I don't think it's working. These are his eyes, right? Alright, so according to the book, I have to get thrown by Opara and then fly into one of his eyes. So maybe I'm not supposed to shoot them. I think I'm literally supposed to like try to body slam one of this guy's eyes with my face. So, here goes. We're gonna try to do just that. And come on, come on. Oh man, this is, this is difficult. My elytra skills are not that elite. I've had an idea, I've had a light bulb. I think there's actually, it's actually three blocks high right in the middle of the eye, which means that's the spot I need to aim for. It's a slightly larger target. So I have to go for that bit right in the middle. It's my best, my best chance. Which isn't saying much because none of my chances are good, but it's better than Zipperama, which is what we're kind of currently at, apparently. I'm so tempted to just do this in creative mode. You guys have no idea. But I really want to I really want the kill blow on Replicus to be 100% legit. Okay, we are in the eyeball people. Straight to the eyeball. Are you finally finally dead? I thought I there's, there's been like 500 times I thought you were dead. Are we done? Oh, it's a checkpoint. You did it! You defeated Replicas and Reina. Your your head's doing weird things, but it's probably just, just uh, the it's just side effect of dimension hopping and stuff. Totally normal. Totally normal. You saved the overworld and all the other dimensions too. Even the end from Replicas's rule. Okay, right, right. That's all good and well. I'll get to that later. My brain is fried. But what I really want to know is how did Opara come back, and how did you make that spell? Like, what was that? Well, allow me to answer that. The spell that you were given to destroy Replicus was bestowed in you by the creators. You mean, like, how Steve had a spell he used back to end Beast Boy? Then, what about you and Black Steve? I suppose it is time that you know the truth. What? Opara, what? 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 You're Steve? How? I... I don't understand. To understand how I'm still alive after Black Steve ended me? Well, I'm not actually alive at all. Not in the traditional sense. Black Steve did end me back in Mount Jewel. But the creators allowed me to return to the living. They knew replicas would likely destroy the overworld. I was there all along with you in the form of Opara, so that no one would know I was alive. I'm not alive either. Replicas killed me after the Ender War because of my betrayal. In the same way as Steve, the creators let me back into the overworld so I could help you escape the end. And to defeat Replicas, of course. Yes, I'm afraid there are no more questions we can answer, for we must return to the creators. You did well, Kelsey the Pyrofly. I can only hope that peace shall return to the overworld and to the other dimensions as well. Farewell, Kelsey the Pyrofly. Map by Blaze and Cave! Pure Agony by Kelsey the Pyrofly. You're welcome. <laughs> but look, we get like a little tour through all of the maps, mappy things. And honestly, I'm not even sure you guys remember any of this stuff, because I probably don't. It's been ages. Uh, but the cutscenes were by the Redstone Scientist. Well, they were created using a cutscene tool by the Redstone Scientist. Um, yeah, I remember this place. Definitely 
definitely was not my favorite place. 3D models created using Mr. Crayfish's model creator. Totally cool, and excuse the fact that I just said fishes. I'm a little bit, a little bit, uh, brain dead right now. And the 3D models will also buy Block Bench, which was by Janice X11. Goody, goody, goody. Oh, this is where we met Opara. Custom music. And there's a lot of this, guys. By Kevin McLeod, IncompleteTech.com. And if you ever look at the description, you'll see music credits and other kinds of credits that I copy-paste in there. There's a ton of credits, guys. Believe me. Jason Shaw by Audionautics.com. Oh, I remember that place. That was also pure torture. And this place. I think that's where there was the stinky spider cave. Oh, good times. And Tim Beak from TimBeak.com. This is like a combination of credits and just me reminiscing about all of the bad times I had. Twin Musicon or Musicom, twinmusicom.org, I think. Cinematic Waves, cinematicwaves.com. Giant Pyramid, I think that's where I first met the Ueva, although I don't know for sure. Oh, this place. And special thanks to... Oh my gosh, the, the, my cactus is actually there. That is amazing. Somebody, the AOS 1 and 2, and YouTubers who recorded episodes. Hey, that's me! They're thanking me for all my trouble. That's really nice of them. Oh, I guess that's probably... Oh, it's all the Assassin and Steve 1 and 2 YouTubers record episodes. That's also me. Oh, yeah, that was... Guys, this has been... You have no idea how long I've been working on this. And everyone who commented with praise, criticism, and other varieties of things. And I think, actually, if I, I might be able to read this better if I changed my GUI scale to something other than completely massive. So we'll go with normal, just for now. There we go, we can actually read it now. To everyone who commented with criticism, praise, and bug reports. Oh yeah, in this place. I got lost in this place horribly and forever. That was good times as well. Okay, and special thanks to everyone who got all hyped for this map, which... I'm not sure I can say that was me. I was more like just groaning. It's like, oh no. No, please. No, anything but this. Don't make me do another one. But it, it turned out to be pretty decent. Especially the first few levels. The first few levels were really fun. Alright. But consider... Consider yourselves... Consider this a your welcome for playing this map. You're welcome. Blaze and Cave presents Death to Kelsey. I, I mean the epic conclusion to the Assassin of Steve trilogy. Woo! Oh, yes! Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so happy about this for so many reasons. Assassin of Steve 3. Ender Geddon. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I've never been so relieved in all my life. <laughs> I never thought this day would come. Congratulations! You have completed, at long last, and at great cost to yourself and your sanity, Assassin of Steve 3, Ender Geddon. Alright, and hopefully you didn't miss anything towards the end. It got laggy, and I may have gotten the horrible lag voice, which just, you know, ruins my day. But hopefully you guys were able to enjoy most of the credits. And we have finally finished. As I said before, in case you missed it, at great cost to myself and my sanity, we have at last, at long, long last, completed Assassin of Steve 3. And King Parkour said, Don't worry, Kelsey the Pyrefly, I'm quite alright. I've flown further up than that before. Wait, I, I didn't even realize what happened to you, but apparently he got, like, shot into the air. But yeah, he's good. He's good. He's basically invincible. And here's Roger. 
here's Blaze and Cave, the map creators slash tormentors of Kelsey, and... Why am I referring to myself in the third person? I think this map has broke something that may never be right again. But there's a chest, we really gotta know what's in here. Ah, the final book, which I thought I would never see. Holy crud, 26 pages, but you know what, it... it <laughs> we might as well just read all 26. Congratulations, you've completed Sass of Steve 3 and again by Blaze and Cave. Thank you for playing and finishing our map. Oh, believe me, it was it was not. It was no easy feat. We put a lot of effort into this map, as well as its two predecessors over the past four years. Has it been that long? It has seriously been a long time. I think Assassin's of Steve 1 was actually one of the first maps I ever played on this channel. So this is kind of like... This is like the end of an era, guys. You have no idea how much this means to me, but... I hope you guys are glad to see that I actually made it here, because I wasn't sure it would ever happen. It means the world to us that you stuck through our map and watched the story unfold and ultimately defeated the assassin and saved the world from Endergen. Now, I gotta say, the story was really, really fascinating. I can't believe that Steve and Reyna were basically sent back from the dead in order to defeat Replicas. And I guess that means... Beast Boy and Reyna and Steve and Black Steve, all four of them, all four of the original Minecrafters are gone. All four of the Immortals, so I guess that just leaves me. But more importantly, it explains why Opara was basically invincible. It makes so much more sense now. Okay, so this map concludes the Assassin of Steve trilogy, so there probably won't be an Assassin of Steve 4, although feel free to create a bunch of memes like Assassin of Steve 4 confirmed. Yeah, only, only joking. Oh, <laughs> okay, just, just thinking about that makes me cry. <laughs> Chances are, however, there will be more maps and projects from us after this one. Subscribe to us on Planet Minecraft or follow us on Twitter for more news and updates from us. Want your head to appear in a future map from us? Yes, please. I love my head. It's beautiful. Message us or post on Planet Minecraft forum with your IGN and a picture of you having finished the map. And be sure to put your head in somewhere. You don't have to be a YouTuber or anything. But I am, so I'm cool. So yeah. Oh, and be sure to try out our advancements pack sometime. You can download it on Planet Minecraft. Might have checked that out. There we go. Shameless self-promotion out of the way. You can stop reading this book. Nothing else to see here. Really, I still don't believe you. Did you Google Black Steve? Unlike Herobrine, he was actually once in the game. Uh, I, had, I didn't Google him, but I think I read that on the Minecraft wiki somewhere. So are Rain and Beast Boy. Yeah, I definitely read that on the Minecraft wiki, but not Replicas. Definitely did not read that on the Minecraft wiki, and there's no reason- there's no way there's a 26 page for no reason. The spaceship in the cave's Elytra course in Hidden Mission 5 is awesome. I wonder what else I could do in it. Wait. Spaceship in cave's Elytra course. I don't remember what that looked like, uh, but then again, I actually didn't do the, that Elytra course. Infected took care of that one. And it was so much more torturous than Blaze, Blaze's Elytra course, so... Mm, real dicey there. Okay, and... There really is nothing. I really thought there would be something cool on page 26. But I guess that's the final book. Oh my goodness, I just... I just can't even right now. Okay, let's see. Assassin of Steve 3, YouTubers coming in later patch. I expect to see my head here, I really do, after all of the work that I've done. Oh my gosh, look. It's my gorgeous head! It is my gorgeous, beautiful, amazing, wondrous, awe-inspiring head. And look at look, Infected 104, only there for one episode. That's, oh, that's pretty funny. That is, that is actually pretty hysterical. This side of Assassin's of Steve 1, the finishers, these are everybody who finished Assassin's of Steve 1, and I'm finally getting credit for all of, all of the work I put in. This is just, this is just absolutely lovely. And wow, look, only two YouTubers finished Assassin's of Steve 2. Dax Interactive right here, and myself and Infected. And fortunately, for some reason, Infected's skin is not working. I don't really know why, because we did actually fix it so that it's not totally black, but apparently it's still not working in here. But that's probably just because it was like that when it was placed. I think I might try to fix that, actually. I feel like Infected needs to revel in the glory of his being in that one episode before Lag kicked him out for good. Alright, so apparently Infected's head isn't working so well, but you guys know what Infected's gorgeous, well, what Infected's face looks like, I'm sure you can fill in the blanks right here. And, wow, that's just, this just, this just warms my heart to see myself 
in in this in this room. This is what I've always wanted for like my entire life. This is amazing, though. A lot of people uh, comparably did Assassin of Steve one, but apparently only a couple of people managed Assassin of Steve two. Like, and I think so. Yeah, I mean, Dax Interactive here, and I we are we are the elites of the Assassin of Steve trilogy. So I think that definitely deserves a like. So be sure to, to just like smash that like button like I've been wanting to smash my computer throughout this entire, entire series. And it seems that we have completed the finishing room. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed the video and the map and everything. I hope you're enjoying life and I hope you will continue to watch this channel even though our Assassin of Steve era has ended. Wait, I got it. Oh, I, I, I didn't even notice there's a sign. Notable for playing the 110 version in 1.11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's actually really funny. I'm, I'm kind of curious how that went down, to be honest. Okay, but anyway, guys. Once again, like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And I will see you next time on a different map. Goodbye.